Hello again, and welcome back to Silent Hill. So we've met up with a brand new character, Lisa, the nurse, and we've already met the gypsy, Dahlia, again, telling us about the symbol known as Samael, responsible for transforming the town of Silent Hill into a alternate dimension. And basically, we're going to have to find out more about this Samael and the symbols as well as trying to continue our search for our daughter. So with that said, let's continue on with our journey. And I haven't noticed this, but most of my safe is getting wider, so I'm gonna have a terrible score. But never mind that. The search for our daughter is important. So let's get to it. And I almost forgot those guys. Let's stop by at the police station just to see if Sybil's over there. And is it just me or am I hearing noises? Yeah, I've never seen this area before. Let me just check around. The sound is getting louder and louder. I'm gonna check the map. I've already came from the hospital, so. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm supposed to go into the pub from where Elisa was heading. I believe that's the area that she was going. All right, let's just go to the police department just to see if Sybil's around because this noise is getting very annoying as well as distracting or disturbing. Mine is disturbing because it's not that bad. Of course, it's locked over there. Okay, so the noise is gone. I don't see Sybil here, but I just want to check just to be sure. Did I read this? Oh yeah, I did. It's the um, murders and all that from my last video. Okay, so there's nothing there, so... That's pointless. Let's just head to that area that I'm supposed to go near the shopping center. And the noise is getting louder and louder whenever I, I believe, reached my destination. Let me check something for a moment. Let's see if there's any gate open. Because this is the shopping center. Nope. This is the area that I'm supposed to go where... Alisa was heading towards. 
in my flashback in the last video. Let me just check something first before... Anything over there? Wait, is that Carrie? The um, poster of Carrie? That scary movie with Stephen King? Adaption? I could have sworn there's like an Easter egg of some sort. Let's just check what's inside the here with the pub key. Not pub, but an... Oh my god. Antique store. I thought it was a pub because all that stuff. There we go. And the noise is gone. So let's see what we can find in this dark room. None of this stuff is on any use, of course. Oh, but there's a little thing over there behind the cabinet. There is a trace on the floor that somebody moved the cabinet. Of course I do. There we go. What's this? Harry! Sybil? Ah, oh, I'm glad you're okay. I shouldn't have left you. Things are worse than I thought. It's nuts! What are you doing here? I thought you left town. I saw you go in here, so I followed you. I couldn't get out. All the roads out of town are blocked. Cars have completely stopped running. The phones and radios are still out too. What about my daughter? Did you see her? I did see a girl. Was it Cheryl? I only caught a glimpse of her through the fog. I went after her, but she vanished. I don't know about your daughter, but... And you just let her go? Where was it? On Bachman Road. She was heading towards the lake. Now don't get excited. It wasn't like she ran off, exactly. There was no place for her to go. The road has been obliterated. What? So then Cheryl... It was like she was walking on thin air. Hmm? What about you? Anything? Yeah, I met this bizarre woman. Her name's Dahlia Gillespie. Do you know her? Dahlia Gillespie? No. And? She said something about the town being devoured by darkness. Gibberish like that. Any idea what it means? Darkness devouring the town? Must be on drugs. They sell them to the tourists. The force still can't figure out who's behind it. None of our leads have panned out and the investigation is stalled. What could drug trafficking have to do with all this? Hmm. I really don't know. But maybe that's the darkness she was talking about. That's all I can think of. Hmm. What's this? Just discovered it. Maybe there's something back there. Let's have a look. Wait. We don't know what's back there. I'd better check it out first. I'm a cop. I should go. No. I'm going. All right. I'll cover you from here. Be careful. 
careful. If anything looks fishy, get back here on the double. Okay. Sybil? Yeah? Do you know anything about... Well, like some other world? It's like some kind of bad dream. What are you talking about? I'm not quite sure. I try to make sense of it, but then my mind goes blank. Everything's dark there, and I hear sirens in the distance. I met this nurse, Lisa. It's like I was there, but not really. It's all a blur, like some kind of hallucination, you know? I have no idea what you're talking about, Harry. Oh. I was just wondering. Never mind. Harry. You're tired. Yeah, maybe. Well, that was a pretty long cutscene. I wonder if I can go back and check on Sybil again. No need to go back. Okay. So let's explore. See what this... What's in this tunnel. Another hole. All clear. What's this? Some kind of altar? Never seen anything like this before. Maybe this is the other church. The other church, please. Which is another thing, because it has something to do with drugs. I mean, why would demons try to use drugs to give away to Taurus in other worlds. That doesn't make any sense. Enough making sense. Trying to make things explain stuff. Let's just check this altar. Some kind of powder in the left in the chalice. Whatever. Ooh, what do we have here? A new weapon. An axe. I'll take it. And there's a door though, but it's locked. Let's see. No, hold up. What does that say over there? No God. I think that's what it says. Whatever. <gasps> what the? Harry? Are you okay? Harry? Hospital? You were having a bad dream. Was I? Hey, you don't look too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. Nothing you need to worry about. Well, if you're sure. Lisa, do you know a woman named Dahlia Gillespie? Oh yeah, that crazy Gillespie lady. She's kind of famous around here. She never sees anybody, so I don't know that much about her. But 
but I heard her kid died in a fire, and supposedly she's been crazy ever since. Well, she says the town is being devoured by the darkness. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? The town devoured by the darkness. Yes, I think I do. Before this place was turned into a resort, the townspeople here were on the quiet side. Everybody followed some kind of queer religion. Weird occult stuff, black magic, that kind of thing. As young people moved away, the people figured they'd been summoned by the gods. Evidently, things like that used to happen around here all the time. Before the resort, there really wasn't anything else out here. Everyone was so flipped out, you gotta blame it on something. Then a lot of new people came in and everybody clammed up about it. A cult? Last time I heard anything about it was, gosh, years ago. When several people connected with developing the town died in accidents. People said it was a curse. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I'll shut up. Was that another dream? Did I pass out again? Yes, Harry. Yes, you did. I don't want to think about it, but maybe this is all just going to be in my head. I could have had a car accident and now I'm lying unconscious in the hospital bed. I don't know what's real anymore. Well, that was... Sybil says Sarah was heading towards the lake. But that road is on the lake is blocked. Aren't there any other road? Lisa would probably know. Right. That was a pretty long cutscene. Two of them, exactly. And from the looks of this, we found another symbol. Very similar to the one in the schoolyard. So, basically, this town has something to do with the occult and linked to the devil. Which explains why it's so haunted and changed into a different dimension. Right, so let's move to see if Sybil's there, waiting for me. Ooh. Sneak attack, uh, aren't we? Okay, just to be sure, it's an antique, not a pub. And from the looks of this, everything has been alternated again. Great. So now I'm going to have to find my way back in a different alternate dimension. So, which explains why everything is becoming more evil. Because this place has become linked to witchcraft and the occult and whatnot that Lisa was explaining more of these things. I just had to dodge these guys for now. And yes, we have a new various of these dogs and flying birds. And there's my entrance. Strange that these animals are not following me anymore. Let's see my map again. Already made it to the town center or shopping center or whatever.
There's got to be something useful here. Or up there. Just trying to take my time looking around this place. Nothing useful, so let's try upstairs. There, Cheryl. All tied up. Cheryl! So it looks like she is around here. But strangely enough, there's these symbols. A picture is projected on this screen. Cheryl, where could she be? So as you can see, like I said, there are different types of symbols showing in the screen. Besides the pyramid, there are other ones. I don't know what they represent, but it doesn't seem like a pretty good thing. Let's just move on upstairs. hear more of these things. Coming from over there. Let me just check around here for first. Nothing. So let's go into this door next to something over there. Okay, let's see what goods we have. Rifle shells, okay, so we got another weapon, which is the sniper rifle or something. Let's try getting as much things we can. And that's it. Now let's see what's over there. Giant maggots? What's going on? A trap. Well, that hurts. Oh, great. A giant worm, which I believe it's the second boss. But luckily we found a new weapon. The hunting rifle. So... Yeah, we're just gonna have to shoot this thing till it's dead. Try to be careful though, because they'll just burst out of the ground. Just like that. Let me check my inventory. And try my luck with this, with this rifle, which I'm certain that this is supposed to be the strongest weapon in the game. That's three shots. Try to shoot it twice. Four shots.
Already killed it. Simple enough. Now let's get out of here. Is this the way? Or not? And it disappeared. Now it's right behind me. So I'm guessing that giant larva just got out of that room as fast as it can before I can finish it off. Might as well follow it. Let's check our map. Where are we now? So we're behind the town center. So we're gonna have to explore around before we move to our destination. Yeah, our destination. Let me just get my health. And take care of this guy. Like I said, there's new various of these the guys. And the larva seems to be gone. So let's move on. Windmill. Everything now is getting corrupt. And this is the part here that I feel is very getting more tense and scary at the time that I remember. Things aren't making any pig squeals anymore. Dead end. Oh, what do you know? Hold up. There's supposed to be an Indiana Jones. It is. It just changed it to a different title of the screen. Title of the movie, actually. Shot, but it's actually the Indiana Jones movie. That's pretty cool. Almost there to the police department. There it is, made it. Anybody there? Ah, made it. And everything is still the same. Well, only the floor. But at least we got more bullets. Okay, I can't go in there anymore, so that sucks. And we gotta start with these things again. No luck. I can't go over there. Of course. Everything is blocked, just like Sybil said, but not only over there in the real world, but this world as well. So that explains why everything is be- Three of them. 
that's why everyone is saying that the whole environment is being consumed by darkness. Of course. Let me check my map for a moment. Map. I'm pronouncing things wrong lately. I'm not going into the hospital just yet. Wait a minute, let me check again. I can't. That area is off limit, alright, so. Yeah, let me just go to the hospital. Made it. Three in a row. I gotta get my shotgun. Because things are getting a bit crazy. I'm not gonna waste any... Oh, any of my rifles. That was easy. Alright, I'm back here again, so I'm gonna have to talk to Lisa again. If she's in there. And of course, this is still jammed. Glad you're okay. Thank God you came back. I was scared to be here all alone. I'm here now. I was worried too. I'm real happy to see you. Lisa, can you tell me how to get to the lake? The lake? You take Bachman Road. The road's blocked. Well, that's the only way out there. Are you sure? There's got to be another way. Wait! I just remembered something! There's a waterworks over by my old elementary school. It's been abandoned for years. There's an underground tunnel out there used for inspections or something. I remember hearing it runs all the way to the lake. Really? You think I can get to the lake from there? I've never been down in there myself, so I'm not positive. Besides, it's all fenced off to keep people out. If there's a chance, I've got to try. Harry, don't go! I don't want to be alone. It's so scary, I can't stand it. How about coming with me? This may not be the safest place in the world, either. I can't promise you anything, but I'll do my best to protect you. No. Somehow I feel I'm not supposed to leave this place. Oh, Harry. I'm so scared. I'm cold. Look. Just wait here a little longer. I'll be back as soon as I find my daughter. Harry? So, looks like we're gonna go out again. Turns out there we have to go back to the elementary school, or the near the elementary school to get to the waterwork tunnel. So let's go. And everything seems quiet. 
I really do not like the sound of that music. Plus, it stopped raining. Let's see what's going on. Somehow the entire... My path is blocked. Something's over there. The only place I have to go is up those stairs from previously, earlier ago. Something sinister is up there. I know it. Alright, let's see what's going on. Hmm. I guess not. And we have a giant moth. Is that the same larva from before? I guess so. So basically, he just morphed into a giant moth. So I'm gonna have to shoot it multiple times until it's dead. Let me see how much ammo I have with this. Just two. And that's it. And another thing I want to point out is that you notice that you can carry as much inventory. Inventory. I'm gonna have to use my gun. I have plenty of those. And that's gone. The music's changing because I know that it's... I'm weakening the moth. So the only thing left is go up. Let me get my rifle. Let me see how strong it is now. Better make it count, though. Killed it. And that is the weirdest sound effect that a moth can make, even though it doesn't sound like a dragon. Back to normal. Unfortunately, Lisa's back in the other world. So going back to the hospital is just a waste of time. So basically, when I'm in the alternate dimension, Lisa's there. But when I'm in the real world, so is Sybil. Like they don't exist in that, or just stuck there. But I don't have time to make logic sense, because I'm going to end this video. Let me see if everything's normal. Yep, back to normal, so... We're going to have to save our progress in the police department. And that weird noise that I keep hearing earlier before is gone. So I guess I can just rest easily. For now. And yet no sign of Cheryl. Looks like we have a long way to go to understand the thing about Samael and all that stuff. So we're going to quit for now. So thank you for watching this. 
and hopefully we can find Cheryl and find a way to get out of this thing and end this nightmare. So if there's anything that you like, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That would be helpful. So until then, I will see you again in the next video.